equal or if it by chance if it comes similar so that's fine but uh, you should take your own any company like you should uh, select any name at random or see what which products are you are using and try to see the share values of that particular product and select any one company for that any company you need to create this kind of data so it is very easy to create this kind of data see uh, first of all i need to type down the date so suppose i need to type down any date so i will write down 21 dash uh, let's say from or from 15th of december so 15 12 dash 2021 so this will take a date for excel and as long as i will take the second date 16 12 2021 so there are these two dates so if i select this date see with the bigger plus sign i will select this date and when you come to the corner side it will be the bigger plus will go to a smaller plus so you need to drag this plus likewise it will create new dates for you create up to two days date like 15th of the december okay so this was the 15th december date was up to two days date so up to today we need to give the data value input values and let's say for upcoming few days we are expected to predict so is this date column okay for you yes sir yes sir. Yes, sir. yes sir yes sir okay so up to this point this was okay now we need to write down the share value so as yash was uh, willing to take a himalaya share price so we can write down these values which are changing continuously so let's say if i write down first so on 15th of december it is 21 rupees so i can write down 21 here then accordingly next values for 16 20.95 so i can take 20 or i can write down you can take down 20.95 you can write down 21.0706 so uh, suppose i create a random number so i am creating random number you are expected to uh, take the data i am using our knowledge from previous practical so rand between let's say i write down values so what was the minimum value 27.35 uh, sorry maximum minimum value was 19.35 and comma maximum let's say 28 okay so what i will do i will drag this to 15th of the december so i will get some values okay you are not expected to do this task you are expected to take the data of any share and oh i will so let me do it as a 21 and 20 22 or 22 okay so i have share value now is this data creation okay yes sir yes sir okay so now the task is very easy first of all uh, this this can be done in any excel file but what we need to do is a forecast sheet which is only available in upper versions of the excel so if you have excel 10 or excel 13 uh, this data and forecast sheet won't be available so see what we need to do we need to go in data and you need to search for this in data you need to search for this forecast sheets so in lower versions of excel this won't be available so for that what you need to do you need to install microsoft office and for installing microsoft office you can go to uh, office 365 login so you will get this tab 
you click on this tab and as i have already signed in so it will re redirect me to the google home page but aap logo ko wo ek password puchega apna mid.asia ka gmail dalo email address dalo aur uska password dalo to ye aapko office pe redirect kar dega jaise aap home tab pe aate ho when you come to the home tab of microsoft office you will see here a office 365 tab where it is on it is loading here where you can actually download office 365 and install load ho jao it is not loading properly see here you will get a office 365 tab where you can actually download the thing for earlier batch it, it uh, yes now it came see here install office so when you click on install office this down arrow you, you will get this app so you can install this office 365 app so it will download one file and it will you if you double click on that file it will directly install all the updated versions of 365 in your system so do that after this practical session because uh, the forecast sheets tab will be available only in the upgraded versions now the thing practical performance is very easy you just need to select the data up to the date where you you are ex sorry so up to the complete date where you need to uh, forecast the values like it's not up to only the data given but we need to select the data given as well as the forecasting value so select up to forecasting value so we need to select up to 18th of the january and now go to data tab like see here uh, we have home tab so whenever you open excel you will see this kind of appearance so nearby this excel home tab there is a data so in data tab you can you click come on the forecast sheet and simply click once so when you click once new panel will appear Okay, so this panel justifies a blue line as well as a orange line. So see here, the blue values are for the data you are giving uh, for the Excel. Like this is input data from our side, and gray orange value is the forecast value. So bold orange graph is for forecasted value, whereas you can see two more orange lines, which are upper confidence bound and lower confidence bound means. now what is this actually means is like suppose excel is predicting on 16th of january uh, the value is expected to be 23 it is falling down from 24 to some value so it can be 23.5 let's say so it is expecting 23.5 but the value may change or may vary in between these two margins so the margin on this 16th of january is nearly around 28 and the lower margin is around 19 so even though the excel is predicting the value is around 23 but the value may vary from 28 to 19 okay so this is called as confidence uh, bounds and how much excel is sure about it it is also see given in the options see when you see here the options we you, you click on options so the confidence interval is given here so if you don't select confidence interval it will be uh, it won't show a uh, con uh, in confidence bound see if i uncheck this one it won't show you confidence bound if you set the seasonability it will not uh, restrict the graph and the graph will not get linearized so it will try to detect the pattern 
so these are different options you can change the forecasting end value you can uh, forecast up to any other 30th 31st of january or any future date um, let's let's change it to 19 so it will it will change up to 19th of the january you can start the forecasting date from earlier values also let's say uh, we are starting the forecasting from uh, 6th of 5th of the january 6th of the january so it is forecasting value so this was the forecasted value but see the difference the excel actual value came out to be lesser than the forecasted value and this was forecasted value actual value came out to be higher than the value so for that purpose confidence intervals are important like uh, confidence interval will try to justify the actual value so see now even though you don't rely on the actual predicted value but you can rely on the confidence bound so you can say that on 7th of the january the value may lie between these two upper and confidence bound so as long as you increase the confidence interval see uh, as long as you increase confidence interval the graph will uh, interval will uh, go on increasing means uh, how much sure the excel is the maximum value is 99.99 .99. so excel is 99.99 percent .99 sure that the value which is actually a nearly around 20 it won't go beyond 35 and it won't fall down 10 or for won't fall down 15 so likewise this interval is about you you can take any appropriate confidence interval so for as long as you decrease the confidence interval it will come near to the predicted value so this is what panel we have also we have two things here a line chart and a bar chart so we can say column chart here so when you click on column chart you can see these differences so this is a overlap of predicted value and the available value also you cannot see a two different values of inter confidence upper bound and lower bound but here you can see a eye kind of shape which only justifies a confidence interval so if you click on this confidence interval uh, it it won't show a i value but for a confidence interval it will just say that 5% of this particular value as a margin for the prediction so let's come back to the pie line chart there is a symbol of create or button for create tab so when you click on create tab it creates a new forecasted sheet okay so excel has created a new forecast sheet and this is what we need to do so this forecast sheet we need to get from excel and here excel generates a five column data where these are the our predicted value our fed values and these are predicted values so you can see the difference and you can analyze what values can be available and what values can be fruitful okay so also you can go on this selected select the data again click the forecast sheet you can go for line charts also you can again change the values you can set the prediction date let's say from 8 You can set the seasonality. So you can say create. So again, it will create a new uh, sheet, but here it won't create five columns. See here only two columns are given. So forecast sheet kind of and interval there you were having upper confidence bound and lower confidence bound as well. So this was the earlier sheet. This was forecast lower confidence upper confidence and the, here we have forecast and confidence interval if you see this command here forecast dot ets okay so in fact we can do this uh, practical by using some command like equal to forecast and then so we have the op available options but uh, in your syllabus it is expected that you should use this data tab and this forecast sheets okay so that was the practical is all about is there any doubt
सर व्हाट इज मीन बाय सीजनेबिलिटी सीजनेलिटी सीजनेलिटी एक्चुअली स्टैंड्स फॉर ए लीनियराइजेशन सो इवन दो वी गूगल इफ वी गूगल इट लेट्स से मींस इफ इफ वी सिलेक्ट द सीजनेलिटी बाय डिफॉल्ट सो इट विल सेट सीजनेलिटी टू जीरो एंड इट विल लीनियराइज द ग्राफ So, see, seasonality is a characteristic of time series in which data experiences a regular and predictable changes and recur every calendar year. So, means what? See here, uh, when we are changing the seasonality, see the graph. See, the graph is uh, trying to follow the pattern, like changing. But when we started it earlier, let me show you the uh, selection again. So. i selected the value i go to forecast see here early at by default when seasonality is not selected uh, you can see a linearized graph okay this is a linearized graph but if i set the seasonality be seasonality and i increase it you can see the variation in graph see here okay so okay so we better offer a linear graph but we can change that seasonality so that is what it is showing that it data experiences a regular and predictable change means if you increase the seasonality it will predict the change and it will occur or recur every calendar year okay so calendar year stands for year every specific pattern okay so please go through what we have done today just try to recall these are your sheets uh, just let me know if there is any doubt otherwise we will proceed with the orals which are for your practical one assessment is there any doubt 